Welcome to the Velvet Room. I thought about resuming our previous conversation tonight. That is why I have summoned you. What are your thoughts? Are you becoming accustomed to this place? Ah, glad to hear it. It seems you have nerves of steel. The goal of your rehabilitation is to thwart the fated ruin. However, such a feat cannot be done by you alone. Today, you entered a partnership with someone who awoke to the same power, did you not? Involving yourself with others is an important foundation for your recovery. You've done well. That said, I am not advising the formation of superficial relationships. It must not be a frivolity, but a ring of those who would, by morals or faith, lend you their strength. In other words, they are bonds with those who have been robbed of their places to belong. The expansion of said ring will, in return, help you mature as well. Personas are the strength of heart. The stronger the bonds that surround you, the more power your personas will gain. There are countless people in the city who have talents that a weakling like you doesn't. You better rack that noggin of yours and get them on your side. We'll change that into power. Indeed, you should be prepared to use even myself or your ambitions will not come to fruition. <laughs> we have a deal then. I am thou. It shall become the wing with the birth of the full person. All right. Well, you will understand it all in due time. Continue devoting yourself to your rehabilitation. Now this conversation's over. Get lost, inmate. How annoying. We've barely started high school and already they're making us play at a volleyball rally? And why are they pitting us against the teacher team? Kamoshida's gonna crush us! We get to see his technique live and in person, though. We should totally get spiked on! Yeah, okay. You're gonna get your face smashed in. Just look at how banged up the volleyball team is. What the hell goes on during their practices? Okay, quiet down.
All right, let's resume the match. That asshole's acting like a king over here, too. Get to know each other better, my ass. It's just a one-man show for him to stroke his ego. Oh, oh, and how he acted like he was worried about Mishima. Oh, what an abusive D-bag. <sighs> well, anyways, now's our chance to go look for the guys we saw were slaves yesterday. Let's look for the faces we saw at the castle. All the members of the team should be here today. I'll be sure to find someone to spill about Kamoshida's physical abuse. Just you wait, asshole. The first one that popped out was a guy from Class D, so let's start from there. That's your class. Hopefully you can get him to talk without any issues. People have been avoiding me lately, so... Oh, but you're kind of in the same boat, huh? What? Are you skipping out on the volleyball rally? I guess I expect it from you, Transfer. Hey, that's the guy who was over at that castle. You too, Sakamoto? What do you guys want? What? W what, are you, what are you saying? No, of course not. It's Kamoshida, ain't it? Look, I ain't gonna tell anyone you squealed. Just tell us about how Kamoshida's abusing you. I... I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not. You guys are talking complete nonsense. Don't try and hide it. We already know. You know? You have proof. Well, uh, I... This is ridiculous. Please, leave me alone. You're really bothering me. <sighs> All right, that's enough. That injury ain't normal, and he still won't fess up. Crap. If we keep going at this pace, the ball game's gonna end. Guess that'd be faster. I'll check the practice building for people before clubs start. You handle the classroom building. There's a third year on the volleyball team that I remember. I think he's in... 3C? He was getting beat pretty badly at the castle. He might have some injuries here, too. Anyways, I'll hit you up if I find anything. Can 
could talk to you for a sec? It'll be quick. Anyway, what's with you? Like how you were late the other day was a lie and all? There's that weird rumor about you, too. What do you want with him? Right back at you. You're not even in our class. We just happen to get to know each other. What are you planning on doing to Mr. Kamoshida? Huh? I see. I get ya. You're all buddy-buddy with Kamoshida after all. This has nothing to do with you, Sakamoto. If you found out what he's been doing behind your back, you'd dump him right away. Behind my back? What's that supposed to mean? You wouldn't get it. Anyway, people are already talking about you two. I don't know what you're trying to pull, but no one's gonna help you. I'm warning you, just in case. That's all. Why she gotta be so aggressive all the time? Ah, we just went to the same middle school. Anyways, that's not what we're here to talk about. I had no luck on my end. What about you? Did anything like someone's name turn up? Huh? Special coaching, huh? True. I always see the guy covered in bruises. Let's go talk to him before he leaves then. Hey, got a second? Sakamoto? And you too. Come on, we just want to chat. Kamoshida's been coaching you, huh? You sure it's not just physical abuse? Certainly not. What are you talking all polite for? Anyways, we saw him spike you today. Right in the face. That was just because I'm not good at the sport. Still, that doesn't explain all the other bruises you've got. They're from practice. Is he forcing you to keep quiet? That's... What's going on here? Mishima, isn't it time for practice? Uh, I'm not feeling well today. What? Maybe you're better off quitting then. You're never going to improve that crappy form unless you show up to practice. Didn't you hear? He ain't feeling well. Well, Mishima, are you coming to practice or not? I'll go. As for you, any more trouble and you'll be gone from this school for sure. Bastard. Same goes for you. Didn't the principal tell you to keep in line? <laughs> Just don't get in the way of my practice. All these unsettling rumors are making the students anxious after all. That's your own goddamn fault. <laughs> this won't get us anywhere. Let's go, Mishima. Shujin Academy is a place where those with aspirations come to learn. Unworthy students like yourselves don't have any right to be here. Get with the program. Yes, sir. That asshole. He's gonna pay for this. There's no point. Huh? Proving that he's physically abusing us is meaningless. Everybody knows. The principal, our parents, they all... This has got to be a joke. Don't be a pain. You don't understand what I'm going through. Shouldn't you of all people know that nothing's going to help? <sighs> Damn it. I'll try one more time to persuade the other guys. That's all I can do.
Shouldn't you be heading to volleyball? Uh-huh. That bruise above your eye. Is that from practice, too? Y yeah Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard? I'm okay. Volleyball's the only thing I can do right. Shouldn't you take that? It's probably just my part-time job, I think. I should get going. Shiho. Um, are you sure you're okay? Uh-huh. Yes. T today won't work. I'm... I'm not feeling so good. Sorry. Bye. Hey, wasn't that Takamaki? Rumor has it she's dating Kamoshida. Seriously? I heard people saw them in his car together. You know, she seems pretty easy, huh? You think I'd have a chance to? Come on, dude. You can't go after Kamoshida's bitch. What? Uh, oh, I'm in the way, aren't I? Sorry. I really am sorry, though. I must have spaced out. Hmm. You don't look familiar. Could you be that transfer student from Class D? Um, this might not be any of my business, but don't let the rumors get to you, okay? glad to hear that. My best friend is often misunderstood too, all because of her looks. But sorry, I didn't mean to drag on like that. Anyway, I have to go to practice. I'll see you around. like? All of them kept saying the same shit Mishima was talking about. Kamoshida had to have told him something. At this rate, looks like we'll have to go to him directly. I know. But seriously, isn't there something we can do? No way I'm gonna give in like this. Can you think of anything? So you want to tell him about the castle? They'd never believe us. Any other ideas? So you want to... Oh, that'd be fine if we could do it without getting caught, but if we did, we'd be seriously done for. You got any other ideas? What do we do? The king? You mean that other world's Kamoshida? I didn't think of that, but is there any meaning to... I finally found you! You say something. Don't think you can get away with not paying me back for helping you. That voice... Is that you, Morgana? How dare you up and leaving me the other day! The cat's talking? I am NOT a cat! This is just what happened when I came to this world. It was a lot of trouble finding you two. 
Wait, you came to our world? <gasps> Does that mean you've got a phone? You don't need one when you're at my level. I did get pretty lost making my escape, though. That aside, why can you talk? You're a cat! How should I know? You hearing this too? This is no time to be joking around! You guys are having a rough time of this, hmm? I heard you mention something about witnesses. Oh, shut up! You know, I could tell you a thing or two about what to do about Kamashita. You were pretty close just a moment ago. God, that condescending attitude. This thing's gotta be Morgana. You were still doubting me? God, quiet down! Uh, we really have to be looking for a cat in a busy time like this? I just heard a meow somewhere near here. Didn't you hear it? <sighs> Make sure you check every nook and cranny around. Meow? Does that mean only us two can understand what you're saying? Looks like it. What the hell's going on? Anyways, what you were talking about earlier, is it for real? You're quite the skeptic for being an idiot. Hey, tell us more. Then again, this probably ain't the best place. Here, stick it in your bag for now. It should be just small enough to fit. Hey! How dare you treat me like... Don't be so rough with me! Enough of that! You said you know how we can do something about Kamoshida, right? It has to do with what this guy was talking about earlier. You'll need to attack his castle. What do you mean? That castle is how Kamoshida views this school. He doesn't realize what happens in there, but it's deeply connected to the depths of his heart. Thus, if the castle disappears, it would naturally impact the real Kamoshida. What had happened? A palace is a manifestation of a person's distorted desires. So, if that castle were no more... Precisely. You sure pick up things fast. For real? He he's gonna turn good? But is that really getting back at him? Erasing a palace essentially means forcing the owner to have a change of heart. However, even though their warped wants disappear, the crimes they committed remain. Kamoshida will become unable to bear the weight of those crimes, and he'll confess them himself. You for real? That's possible? And since the palace will no longer exist, he'll forget what we did there as well. Not only will we be able to bring Kamashita down, but... That's amazing! You are one incredible cat! True. Except for the cat part. So, how do we get rid of the palace? By stealing the treasure held within. Stealing? I'll tell you more once you agree to go ahead with this. It's my most valuable secret plan, after all. If you want to help me out, I'll gladly teach you. What's your call? Alex running dry looking for witnesses. Guess we have no choice but to go along. Good. Oh, right. There's one more thing I should tell you. If we erase a palace, there is no doubt that the person's distorted desires will be erased as well. But desires are what we all need in order to survive. The will to sleep, eat, fall in love. Those sorts of things. What are you getting at? If all of those yearnings were to vanish, they'd be no different than someone who is shut down entirely. They may even die if they're not given proper care. So... They might die! Will you listen to everything I have to say first? Would their death be our fault? Aren't you determined enough to face those kinds of risks? Hey, what do you think? For real? Sheesh. I come all this way and this is what I get. It's not like anyone will ever find out. That's not the point. If we just go around secretly doing whatever we want, we'd be no better than that effing Kamoshida. Isn't this your only option? I'll come back later. Make sure you've made your decision by then. 
Damn, we're getting all worked up for nothing. Damn it. I'll try and see if I can figure out another way. Come on, let's get out of here. Give it a rest? Wait, what? That's not what you promised. And you call yourself a teacher? This has nothing to do with Shiho. Uh, <sighs> Shiho's starting position. Are you listening? <sighs> Haven't you heard of privacy? <sighs> no, I was out of line. Sorry. So, how much did you hear? Shiho. It's nothing at all. Nothing. about me. <laughs> what the heck? I really don't get you. I don't have anything to talk about with you. It was just an argument. Thank you very much! You've heard the rumors. Haven't you? About Mr. Kamoshida. Everyone says we're getting it on. But that's so not true. <clears throat> that was him on the other line. I avoided giving him my number for the longest time. He told me to go to his place after this. <sighs> you know what it means. I turn him down, he said he'd take my friend off as a regular on the team. I've been telling myself this is all for Shiho's sake. I can't take it anymore. Uh, uh. I've had enough of this. I hate him. But still, Shiho's my best friend. She's all I have left in that sorry excuse of a school. Tell me, what should I do? I shouldn't have asked. It's not your problem. <laughs> what? What am 
am I saying? I've barely even talked to you before. <laughs> you might be right. You're so weird. Usually everyone just ignores me. Are you really a bad person? I've heard people talking about you, but I just don't see it. <laughs> Is that supposed to be a joke? I kind of had a feeling they were all just exaggerations. You seemed lonely. Almost like you didn't belong anywhere. You're the same in that regard. Maybe that's why it was so easy for me to talk to you. Is there really no way for me to help Shio? I wish he'd just change his mind. Like, forget about me and everything. As if something like that would ever happen. <laughs> I wasn't asking for a serious response. But I do feel a bit better now. I'm gonna head home. Don't tell anyone what I told you, okay? I'll try and think of a way to persuade Kamoshida. Well, thanks. Suzui. Are you leaving? What is it? Mr. Kamoshida's asking for you. He's in the PE faculty office. What did he say? I don't know. Well, I have to go. <laughs> On. You're late. Where have you been? Don't give me those lies. By the way, you haven't been hanging around any bad influences, have you? Huh. Well, they've got to be pretty strange to want to spend time with you. Just make sure you're careful who your friends are, if you don't want them ruining your life. Ooh, look at the time. Seriously, think about how I feel having to stay up here waiting for you. Hey, I'm leaving. In the future, try not to come back so damn late. Understood? something. So I assume all of you know about the separation of powers. There are three branches in our government. The National Diet is legislative, the Cabinet is executive, and the Supreme Court is judiciary. This division of power provides checks and balances, which ensures no one branch becomes unstoppable. Have you made up your mind? No matter how much thinking you do, there's only one option. You'd be better off just listening to me. 
Did I just hear a cat just now? Mm, mm, meow! Hmm. Could that rumored cat be somewhere nearby? Settle down! We're in the middle of an important lecture. If he only knew I'm reading this, too. Hey, what's that? Enough! This is a classroom! Wait, she's going to jump! Suzui? Shiho? For real? Come Who on, let's go. go! Hey, stay in your seats! Do not step foot outside of this room! No way! Is she gonna commit suicide? It's Suzui! We should head to the courtyard too. Hey, I've got to get past here. Uh huh? Don't push me. Sorry, coming through. someone to go with her. Are there any teachers around? Uh, I'm not in charge of her class, though. Well, we should leave this to Principal Kobayakawa. I'll go! Please hurry! Shio. Why? Mon, I'm sorry. I... can't take this anymore. Wasn't Mishima acting weird? We're gonna make him talk this time. Teachers, return to your classrooms for the time being. Please do not let any students go home yet. Ah, that hurts. Why'd you run like that, huh? I didn't run. She jumped and tried to kill herself. Leave me alone. He's right. We ain't trying to get you busted. We won't say you talked either. Susui. She was called out by Mr. Kamashita. Wait, what? I was called by him a number of times too. To the teacher's room. 
It wasn't just me or Suzui either. He'd nominate someone when he was in a bad mood and hit them. So the physical punishment thing was for real. Yesterday, he called Suzui out of the blue. She didn't make any mistakes or anything. Mr. Kamashita seemed really irritated that day. So it must have been worse than usual. He didn't. That son of a bitch! Uh. I bet Sakamoto's going to find Mr. Kamashita. Mr. Kamashita's probably in the PE faculty office on the second floor. faculty office. Let's hurry. We have to go after him. Really? Huh? You bastard! The hell did you do to that girl? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb with me! That is enough! What you did was in coaching. What did you say? You... You ordered me to call Suzui here. I can only imagine what you did to her. You're going on and on about things you have no proof of. Basically, you're simply making these claims because you can't be a regular on the team, right? That's not what this is about! Even if it is exactly as you imagine it to be, hypothetically speaking, what can you do? We just received a call from the hospital. Suzui's in a coma, and her chances of recovery are slim. How would someone like that make a statement? There's no chance of her getting better, I hear. Oh, the poor girl. No. I can't be. You goddamn... This again? Does this mean we need to have yet another case of self-defense? Just shut your mouth, you son of a bitch! Why are you stopping me? But still! Oh? You're stopping him? What a surprise. There's no need to hold back. Why not attack me? Oh, you can't. <laughs> but of course you can. Everyone present right now will be expelled. I'm reporting all of you at the next board meeting. What? You can't make a decision like that! Who would seriously consider what scum like you say? You threaten me too, Mishima, so you're just as responsible. Huh? To think you didn't know why I kept someone as talentless as you on the team. You act like you're a victim. But you leaked his criminal records, didn't you? It's all over the internet, correct? How terrible. Mishima? He told me to do it. I had no choice. <laughs> now, are we finished here? You're all expelled. You're done for. Your futures are mine to take. Now get out of my sight. I can't believe this asshole's getting away with this! Huh? Oh, right! We have that! Huh? Have you lost your minds? You worthless kids aren't making any sense. But sure, go ahead and try. After all, you'll have plenty of time to kill until expulsion. Can't waste any time. We gotta hurry up and go to that world and beat the shit out of that asshole. We're not beating him up. We're simply stealing his distorted desires. Can I assume that you've made up your minds about this? About how he might suffer a mental shutdown? I have. Someone almost died because of him. I don't give a rat's ass what happens to him anymore. And you? 
There you have it. By the way, is getting rid of a palace hard? You've tried it before, right? When did I ever say that? Huh? What? Were you just pretending to know? Is it true that you're getting expelled? Everyone's talking about it. That asshole's at it again. So you came all this way to tell us that? If you're going to deal with Kamoshida, let me in on it too. I can't just sit back and do nothing after what happened to Shiho. This has nothing to do with you. Don't butt your head into this. But it does! Shiho's my... I said don't get in our way! That was harsh. We can't take her somewhere like that. I hope she doesn't do anything too crazy. Women can be much bolder than men at times. We just gotta hurry up and deal with Kamoshida. Let's go already! The moment we cross over, we'll treat each other like phantom thieves. Uh-huh. Phantom thieves? Those who covertly sneak in and stylishly steal treasure. That is what we become. <laughs> that sounds kind of cool. So we just gotta say the school, Kamoshida's name, and castle. And then we end up in Bizarro World. How the hell's all this work? Someone make it? <laughs> That's kind of creepy, but, uh, eh, seems useful enough. We'll show that effing Kamoshida. Let's go. You really are going to do something. They're doing something on their phone? A name... A school? Huh? Time to bust on through! What is this? Sakamaki? That voice! Sakamoto? And are you. Wh why are you here? How should I know? What's going on? Hey, where are we? Isn't this the school? I see. Perhaps she was dragged in because of that app thing. If multiple people can enter with the person who uses it, it stands to reason it'll pull anyone nearby. For real? Wait, so this is related to Kamoshida? Anyways, you gotta leave! No! The shadows are going to find us if you make a scene. No way! It talked! Oh my god, it's a monster cat! Monster? You better explain what's going on! I won't leave until you do! <sighs> Looks like we gotta force her. But how are we supposed to do that? Just take her back to where we came in. That's how it worked last time, right? Uh, oh yeah! Can you lend me a hand? We can't deal with Kamoshida if we don't. What are you... We'll explain after everything's over. Hey! And just where are you touching? Whoa, sorry, I didn't mean... That's not important. You guys, seriously? Ah! <sighs> we better be careful from now on when we use that app. You should have checked the tools you used. Why do I, the one who was just watching, know more about it than you two? Shut up. Ah, jeez. Takamaki found out right when we were starting off. We gotta deal with this fast. That girl's name is An Takamaki, right? Lady An. The shadows have noticed us. You better brace yourselves, got it? We're counting on you, Joker. Joker? Is that a nickname? Don't refer to it in such a lame way. 
It's a code name. What kind of stupid phantom thief would use their real name? And there's no telling what kind of effect yelling our real names will have on the palace. It's just a precaution. So, uh, why is he Joker? Because he's our trump card when it comes to fighting strength. It's settled then. Next up is you, Ryuji. You'll be... let's see... Thug. Are you picking a fight with me? Yeah, I'll choose it myself! <laughs> when it comes to me, it's gotta be this mask. Honestly, I actually kind of like it. What if we named me after this? Fine. Why not Skull, then? Oh, that sounds awesome! <laughs> I'm Skull! What do we do about this one's code name? How about Mona? Well, if Joker thinks it's easier to call me that, then I'll go with it. All right. From here on out, we are Joker, Skull, and Mona. We need to be absolutely thorough about using those code names from now on. All right, time to go steal this treasure thing. Let's make a dash for it. the other day were quite entertaining. However, I can't allow that trash to ransack my castle. Strengthen the security, kill them on sight. I'll reward whoever brings me their heads. Praise be to King Kamashida! Death to the intruders! Hey, Mona, can't we just beat the crap out of him and call it a day? Look at all those soldiers, idiot! It'd be suicide! And I'm sure you don't want a repeat of last time. Besides, don't you want him to confess his sins? There's no point beating him up. We need to steal his materialized desires. The treasure. Fine, uh, so where is it? It has to be somewhere in the depths of this castle. Let's infiltrate further in while he's out here. and all-out attacks? I'll teach you their practical use now. There's another use for holdups, besides simply defeating enemies. Shadows are beings born from people's hearts, so naturally they can talk, too. In other words, you can communicate with them. Get it? If you talk to them when they're cornered, they might offer money or items since they don't want to die. In fact, talking has a better chance of scoring something great, as opposed to just offing them. Well then, let's do the first step. Knock all the enemies down and do a hold up. We're all locked down! That was incredible, Joker! Uh, for real? Well, something along those lines. Now let it be money or items. Just cough it up. Sorry! Well, wait, what? Hmm, this isn't how I was planning this to go. Uh, if that's the case, I guess it's time for you to go to hell. Uh, for real? Sorry, but we're in a hurry. Come on! <laughs> wow! What the? What's going on? Cool. I am thou, thou art I. What was that 
right just now. What happened? For real? In the shadow's appearance and powers as a persona? Persona! Ravage them! <laughs> Holy! Does that mean you can wield multiple personas? Hey, Mona! What was that about? What did Joker do? He sealed the enemy's appearance and powers into his mask and made it his new persona. Is such a feat even possible? Even I've never seen anyone pull that off. Of course it is. Only one heart exists per person, so normally a person can only have one persona. Incredible. That ability will give us a huge advantage in battle. All right, try to do that even more if the opportunity arises. You better help out too, Skull. Hell yeah! We'll hold every last one of them up! <laughs> I like you even more now. I really do have something special after all. Uh, yeah... There's a treasure chest! I'll reveal your Where true you? form. Said the word Sakamoto said, and I ended up. Princess? Huh? Princess! <laughs> Aren't there even more shadows here than before? Just getting this far has been a real pain in my ass. 
It's all because you guys provoked Kamoshida, you know. Still, he seems to be awfully on guard. Anyways, how are we supposed to steal that treasure thing? Don't be so hasty. First, we'll need to secure an infiltration route. A uh, what? A path to the treasure's location. But honestly, I think we'll need a little more manpower in order to accomplish this. At the very least, one more person would be nice. Hey, you say you don't have your memories and all, but somehow you still know about that kind of stuff? Do you think this thing's really got amnesia? At least you're a step above that moron. Don't call me a moron! You sure talk big, but what if it turns out you're just some stray cat in the end? That can't be! Still, why was a princess in such an odd place? Princess? I could have sworn we were pursuing the readings of an intruder. It doesn't matter now. We must take her back to King Kamashita. Who's this princess they're talking about? I should probably look into this. And yet another question goes unanswered. Stuff like the castle and that navigation app are mysterious, <laughs> but Morgana's got them both be. Oh, crap! Sorry! What was I again? Oh, yeah, a uh, skull. This is bad. That was fast. Your friend, Lady On. She's been taken by shadows. Wait, what? We sent her home earlier. If Lady On does indeed have the app, it could be possible. Oh, no. Don't tell me it got put on hers just like mine. Damn it. We let her out for her own safety, and she just came back in by herself. Damn it. Let's do it. is the intruder. Kamoshida? Who's that? More importantly, what is this place? Why is the school turned into something like this? I can't believe you mistook my aunt for someone like her. <laughs> Are you afraid? What is that outfit? Have you lost your mind? I do as I please here. After all, this is my castle. The world of my desires. What the... Wait, is this some red light district? What a lively slave. This isn't funny! Enough of the bullshit, Kamoshida! <laughs> the girls decided to tell me off. What do you think of that? Talking back is, like, totally unforgivable. In that case, she should be executed. <gasps> now then, how should I play with you? Shall I tear you into little pieces? Are you kidding me? This is effed up. Is that what he thinks of the girls on the volleyball team? Hey, that's... Takamaki! 
just when I was about to start enjoying myself. What's the deal with this guy? You little... How many times are you gonna come back? I bet you just like those thieves. You came because you're pissed at me, huh? But, uh... Ah, I forget that chick's name. But it's your fault she jumped, you know. Huh? You were so reluctant to throw yourself onto me that I had her take your place. You bastard! <laughs> no! Take one more step and I'll kill her on the spot. Damn it! Just sit back and enjoy the dismantlement show. No, don't! Maybe I'll start with the clothes. <laughs> You're such a perv! Hey, what are we gonna do? Takama Key! Is this my punishment for what happened to Shio? That's more like it. You should have looked like this from the start. Shio. I'm so sorry. Huh? You're right. Letting this piece of shit toy with me. <laughs> what was I thinking? It's like I always say. Slaves should just behave and... Shut up. I've had enough of this. You piss me off, you son of a bitch! My, it's taken far too long. <laughs> Tell me, who is going to avenge her if you don't? Forgiving him was never the option. Such is the scream of the other you that dwells with me. I am thou, thou art I. We can finally forge a contract. I hear you, Carmen. You're right. No more holding back. <laughs> there you go. Nothing can be solved by restraining yourself. Understand? Then I'll gladly lend you my strength. Some cheap girl you can toy with, you scumbag. Bitch! You stole everything from Shiko. You destroyed her. Now it's your turn! I will rob you of everything! How dare you! Enough of your insolence! No, I've had enough of you! No one's gonna stop me now! Let's go, Carmen! How dare you deny King Kaboshida's love, you selfish lass! Pay for this insolence with your life! That dirtbag just sees women as sexual outlets! Don't make me laugh with that love bullshit! Come on, Carmen! Let's give him hell! Let's do this! Okay, guys. Persona! I said! There! Here, man. 
And more importantly, how? Hey, is that how you speak to a woman? Are you all right, Lady On? Lady On? Wait, what is this thing? Is it alive? How can it talk? And where in the world are we? J just calm down. Everything's going to be okay. Don't worry. How am I supposed to calm down? Huh? Why am I dressed like this? When did I... What's with this? How can you expect me to be calm? Well, I'm stumped. A search party will be coming for us soon. There's no time to explain. We don't have a choice. Let's retreat for now. We were just getting fired up and you had to go and get in the way. <sighs> Fine. Here, give me your arm. You take the other side. Mm, thanks. Looks like we made it back. Hey, are you okay? Well, pretty much. Wait, I lied. I'm still confused about all of this. You may be safe now, but a lot sure did happen back there. At any rate, we stand out too much here. Let's relocate to a safer spot. Which one you want? Whichever's not carbonated. Uh, they're both actually. Then... Here you go. What about me? Huh? But uh, you're a cat. <laughs> Have you calmed down, Lady On? Um, Morgana, right? I really am talking to a cat. This feels so strange. Oh, sorry. You're not a cat, right? It's only natural that you're confused. Demanding that you understand all of this right after what you went through is asking too much. Honestly, I still can't believe what happened. And that power. My persona. It's the will of your rebellion, Lady On. With it, you'll be able to fight in that other world. So if what you told me is true, we can make Kamoshida have a change of heart, right? Is it really possible? Can we actually force him to confess his crimes? The volleyball team's keeping quiet about this while teachers and parents turn a blind eye. If guys like us try and complain, they're just gonna shoot us down. Going all in on this plan is the only choice we got. Then let me help too. I want to make him pay for what happened to Shiho. He just keeps going like nothing happened, even after what he did to her. I'll never forgive him. Wait, did you just say, let me help? You mean you want us to take you along? Don't act like I'm going to drag you down. Weren't you watching? I can fight too. Hey, what should we do? I agree as well. We are lacking in manpower, after all. Don't worry. I'll protect her. Even if you said no, I'd just go in alone. Ah, right. She can go by herself. I guess it'd be more dangerous turning her down. Ah, fine. Then it's decided. Well, <laughs> I hope we get along. I'm going to make Kamoshida atone for what he did. Not just for Shiho's sake, but for everything he's done. I won't let any more people suffer because of him. I'll do whatever it takes. A group like yours must have relied on subtlety and misdirection. Otherwise, you'd never survive. Some of you might even have been hiding behind a public face their entire lives. If you're listening, then answer me. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. 
it shall become the with the birth of the lover's persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. Just let me know when you're heading back in. Oh, wait. We don't have each other's info. Hey, give me your number and chat ID. And, um... I'll be counting on you then. Same goes for you, Morgana. The pleasure is all mine, Lady On. What a kind girl. Such admirable consideration for others, and the innocence to cast herself into the jaws of death to achieve her goal. She cares about her friends, and she's beautiful to boot. What a girl. She's captured my heart. Dude. You know, it'd be better if this group could get together quick from now on. True. Our best option would be to make a secret hideout where we could discuss these things. A hideout, huh? I like the sound of that. The school rooftop would work. It seems like nobody goes up there. For the time being, that will make the perfect hideout. I can't contact you from inside a palace, so I'll stay in this world. That being said, I'll need someone to take care of me. I'm personally nominating you. You should feel honored. This is all you. There's no way I can at my place. The train will be arriving well, we now have our hideout, so let's meet there tomorrow. Okay, let's go look at my new residence for this world. Stay upstairs while we're open for business. Yes? Hey, lay off the customers. Sorry if he was rude, Doctor. I don't mind. Come on, you're getting in the way. Go on upstairs. Try not to bother the customers. Come on, you're getting in the way. Try not to... Thanks. I'll see you later. Come back again. That's it for today. Oh, that customer just now? She's the head doctor over at that clinic down the street. Rumor has it she gives pretty crappy examinations and sells some weird homemade medicines on top of that. At least, that's what I've heard. I haven't been there myself. They should really just leave her alone. It's not like she's getting in the way of their lives. Hey, are we there yet? <sighs> well, I gotta get home and start making dinner. Place. Is this some kind of abandoned house? Hey, are you... I was wondering why I heard meowing. What did you bring it here for? That's... It's a shame. Look, this place is a restaurant. Animals are a no-go. Though... Guess you might stay on good behavior if you've got a pet to take care of. Fine. But keep it quiet when we're open for business. And don't let it roam downstairs, or I'll toss it out. Oh, and I'm not going to take care of it. That's all on you. Was that the ruler of this place? He seemed pretty understanding for someone who keeps you cramped up in this dump. Then again... I suppose to normal people, I just sound like a meowing cat. Seriously. I had to keep calling out in that cute little voice. Make sure you wash that dish. By the way, uh, have you decided on a name? Morgana? Huh. I was hoping I'd get to name it. 
Looks like the chief likes me better than you. And to be honest, this place is heaven compared to Kamoshida's cells. Remember how you guys asked me before about what I am? To be honest, I don't remember anything about my birth. I think the metaverse's distortions made me lose both my memories and my true form. It has to be. I mean, why else would a cat be able to talk like this? There's no other possible explanation. There's no doubt that the distortions were what caused me to lose my real self. I'm sure that once they're purged, I'll finally be able to get that self back. And I have a pretty good idea on how to do it, too. Come to think of it, I didn't get hungry over in that world. Let me make myself clear. Your taking care of me won't be for nothing. It'll be give and take, due to my knowledgeable and dexterous nature. I have a lot of intel on infiltration tools. Well, I can't tell you more unless we settle on a deal. In exchange for you keeping me here, I'll teach you about these tools. How does that sound? I like that answer. <laughs> then it's a deal. Skillful infiltrations and escapes to all manner of places. There's even the possibility that you use special tools and had someone who manufactured them. Answer me. I am thou. It shall become the, with the birth of the magician persona. All right. I'll lecture you about the infiltration tools over time. By the way, the power you used in the palace was seriously amazing. The stronger that power gets, the more reliable it'll be as a trump card. Alright, I'm gonna stick with you wherever you go from today on. Personas are the strengths born from one's heart. Depending on what kind of life experience you gain, I bet it'll affect that power as well. And if you become acquainted with capable people, you might learn various useful skills too. This is all part of our deal. Got it? I expect great things from you. Don't let me down, okay? messages to each other with that thing, right? I want in too. So, I'm gonna have to ask you to type for me.
Hey, are you listening? Pay attention. Looks like we're all here. Okay, let's get going. Hold on, it's still too early for us to head to the palace. But why? Don't we just gotta steal that treasure thing? Don't underestimate the dangers of that place. We need to prepare. Ain't that persona shit we got enough to deal with it? That's exactly what I mean when I say don't underestimate it. You'll die if you mess up in there. So again, we need to prepare before we head in. But how exactly are we supposed to do that? I'm glad you asked, Lady On. First, we'll need to find better equipment for all of you. You talking about weapons? Oh, I know a kick-ass place. In that case, you can handle that side of things. The only other thing would be stocking up on medicine. Fatigue is unavoidable in a palace. And where can we get medicine? Don't worry, I know just the place. I hope you look forward to it, Lady On. Now then, he and I have some business in Yongen, so let's head off for today. Just come with me. I won't be able to get close enough by myself. Can I talk? Actually... Hey! Hey! This is the clinic that the chief mentioned. Now, how can we get them to give us some medicine? How do you expect normal people to understand what a palace is? This? Well, I guess that's the only choice we have. We'll just have to go for it. All right, let's step inside. Well... Please head to the exam room. In a case like yours, it's usually just due to stress. I'm gonna prescribe you some pain relievers, okay? Actually, I still need to restock those. So let's go with sleeping pills instead. Sleep is the best medicine anyway. Which type of pill do you want? A sweet tasting one or a bitter one? Is that right? And I bet you think you should have a year-long supply of them, too. You're not sick at all, are you? I'm not as dumb as I look, you know. I'm guessing you're here because you heard the rumors about me, hmm? Who's to say? But as a result, all I get are patients with ulterior motives now. I guess high school kids have it tough nowadays, too, huh? Well, fine. I'll prescribe you some medication. But only medication that will help you recover your health. I guess it's fine. You seem pretty earnest. And you don't look like you'll be any trouble. This is my private practice. All the medicine I dispense is original. I have a license to make my own formulas. You've likely seen them being sold at various hospitals. It's your responsibility to take care of yourself. So. If that's okay with you, stop by any time. Great. It's nice that you're so quick on the uptake. Saves me the hassle. You're a pretty weird kid, you know. I wonder what you're going to use the medicine for. Well, as long as you don't cause me any trouble, it's not my problem. Okay, which one? You want that one? Thanks. That 
should work. Oh, okay. You want that one? There you go. That should work. Thanks. Take care. be able to get our hands on some decent stuff if this store really has model guns. Well, we can leave that for tomorrow. Let's go home. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. Let's turn in for the night. is twisted. While Japanese society may appear to be thriving, many young people have not been as blessed as their elders. They have no jobs, no savings, no financial security whatsoever. These young people should be tackling their futures head on, but instead, they're too busy merely trying to survive. People give speeches all the time. Plus, politics are pretty boring anyways. The shop can be pretty confusing to find sometimes. Before we head in, you know anything about guns and shit? I guess we can just ask the guy behind the counter if we can't figure out what we want. Come on, let's do this. You looking for recommendations? I don't know, just buy whatever looks interesting to you. Ugh, some customer service. What do you want? An automatic? A revolver? Uh, automatic? Dude, why are you talking about cars now? Listen, this here's an enthusiast shop. My regulars will be mad if I let a casual like you hang around. I'm not a freaking casual. I bought shit from here like last week. Uh, can't remember you. You bastard. And you? Looking for something? 
So, you a collector? <laughs> You're way more interesting than Blondie over there. Oh, shut it! <laughs> Anyways, you should have said before you two are enthusiasts. I'm always up for helping fresh faces. Some precautions first, though. Don't go around pointing them at other people. Keep them in a bag or something if you're outside. Oh, and don't let the fuzz catch wind of you having them. I don't need them coming around here. You damn well better be. Now, if you look close, you'll be able to tell these are models. Real guns feel... different. Maybe someday I'll show you the real good stuff, though. If you got the guts for it, of course. But for now, you get the beginner selection. Just sit tight. I'll bring him out. <laughs> we did it, dude. We totally gotta go for some fancy shit, right? Oh, I want him to shine. Oh, and here's the cash for mine. Pick me out something good. That subway driver from the accident was acting really odd during his testimony hearing. You talking about that psychotic whatever thing people are going on about? Yeah, I heard it completely alters your personality. The news is saying the driver couldn't even speak when they tried asking him questions. Only an idiot would believe a preposterous story like that. Oh, sorry, but we're closing soon. <laughs> How rude. This must be why you don't get many customers. Your coffee's actually not half bad. The beans must be lamenting the sorry state of this store. Thanks for stopping in. Please come again. <laughs> I'm only trying to help you fix your business. Thanks for the coffee, at least. Jeez, what a pain. Oh, what do you want? If you're bored, go wash some dishes or something. It doesn't concern you. It's all good as long as the shop doesn't fail. I'm not gonna go wearing a fake smile. No, it's nothing like that. As long as I'm here, the world leaves me be. No annoyances or troublesome people to deal with. It's like my own personal hideaway. I'd be kind of screwed if I lost it. But I guess you would be too. So you better at least try and be useful around here. Anyway, I'm leaving now. Don't cause any trouble. We're just about ready to go to the palace. We just need to assemble some infiltration tools. Clean off that desk back there so we can use it. 
That desk. Hurry now and clean it up. Great. Now you can make things whenever you want. I'll provide the materials this time. Try making a lock pick. Don't think too hard about it. You'll get the hang of it. Everyone starts off a little clumsy. Don't be sad if it doesn't go well at first, okay? Great. We should be able to use this. Yeah. We should be ready now. We're heading into the palace tomorrow. Let's get some sleep. Good morning. Come on, hurry up and get to class. Good morning. That admirable behavior won't do you any good once you're expelled. Well, that wraps up the homeroom period. <clears throat> A word with you, please? There's something I'd like to ask you. It won't take long. I see you're already getting on top of the problem I'd mentioned this morning, Miss Kawakami. I appreciate the support. Thank you again. Oh, you know this guy, Yoshizawa? Yes. He lent me a helping hand earlier. I recommend you steer clear of the likes of him if you have any consideration for your future. Remember the discussion we just had? There are a number of students in this school you shouldn't get involved with. This one's at the top of the list. Oh, the delinquent transfer student? Sorry to interrupt, but I need to use the guidance office. Oh, pardon me. We should be going, too. Don't want to get in the way of guiding this delinquent and all. Please excuse us. After you. I'm gonna get straight to the point. Did something happen between you and Mr. Kamoshida? Well, there was that little exchange just now, but that's not all. He gave me a brief lecture this morning and your name came up. Something about the dangers of a lack of supervision. I don't mean to pry, but just make sure you don't go causing trouble, okay? Oh, and one more thing. That girl outside the office? You didn't make a pass at her, did you? All right. Mr. Kamoshida has a real close eye on you. Apparently, you've been getting involved with Sakamoto-kun. You seem acquainted with Yoshizawa-san as well. Maybe you're just naturally drawn to athletes? Sorry, bad joke. That's all I wanted to discuss. You're free to go.
write something. I hope you all understand that our time limit is May 2nd. We basically just have to go to that castle and steal the treasure from Kamoshida, right? But wait, what even is a treasure? I want to know that before we do anything. A treasure is the physical form of the palace ruler's distorted desires. In other words, it's the core of the palace. Once we steal it, the palace will crumble. I think. Having said all that, even I don't know what Kamoshida's treasure is going to be. And where can we find it? There's no way of knowing that until we go in and find out. But if I had to guess, I'd say he has it locked up somewhere in the depths of the palace. Uh, I think I get it now. We just gotta find the treasure, yeah? Pretty much. There's just a lot we won't know until we go in. In any case, our objective is to find the treasure's locations, make sure we go about this with time to spare so we can avoid any unforeseen circumstances. I expect great things from you guys. Take your time. Excuse me? Um...
Damn. Hmm? What's up? Nothing. I, I was just thinking we should choose a code name for you, too. A code name? I'm Skull, he's Joker, and that's Mona. Judging by your costume. I mean, she's got that tail and stuff, so. What do you think? Wait! Is that what you're going to call me from now on? I am so not down with this. What do you want to be called then? Um, something better than just a little cat. Maybe. Panther? That sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? Huh? Why? Because it sounds more... ferocious? She's a cougar. Don't call me that! More importantly, Kamoshida. Oh, right. Let's go. All right. Let's start fresh and get going. It's game time from this point forward. I'll teach you guys the basics of infiltrating a palace as we go. My master would like a word with you. The prisoner has returned. Well done. It seems you have remembered my words. You truly make it worth rehabilitating you. <laughs> I am not attempting to withhold information from you. The essence of the rehabilit- Once you encounter- Only then. Such a day. This time, I wish to- Due to your potential in wielding the power of that power hold to that end. <laughs> Do not be a thus, you By discarding your old think of to start. Now before you select the second persona, allow me to tell you something great. Do you remember how I mentioned forming bonds with confidants? Personas are the... In other words, when you fuse a persona, this will... Moreau, you can... This is... Now then. This is the form your new persona is expected to take after fusion. It's possible for them to inherit skills they normally wouldn't gain. These skills and... Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Will it gain new power? I wonder. Will it gain new power? Girls, let us begin. <laughs> I am Arsene, the other you who exists within. Though I may disappear this moment, I shall always be at your side. We shall meet again when your fate reaches its conclusion. <laughs> Ah, 
How impressive. A stronger persona has been born from the body and blood of the old. It shall be your new strength. Its worth will be made clearer when you return to the field of battle. Gather personas and bring them here. Gather a great developing... So that your rehabilitation goes well, we have a variety of rituals to choose in... And depending on the effort you put in, our master might consider further development of new rituals. Cry your tears of joy, inmate. Your heart is steadily gaining the strength of... It seems your rehabilitation is proceeding smoothly. A joyous fact indeed. In anticipation of this, I have prepared a gift for you. I hope that you shall accept it. All right. That is a thief's skill, allowing one to tap into their sixth sense and see what is hidden in the dark. I believe you can handle it now. May you continue devoting yourself to further rehabilitation. Now then, if you have any requ- Do you have business with me? You'd like to read the compendium? These are the paths you have walked. This persona? Is this what you want? You cannot afford this. Are you finished? What? It's me. Something wrong? You were just standing around all of a sudden. Why are you spacing out like that? It's kind of hard to tell what you're thinking sometimes. Let's just say he's a man of high caliber. We're counting on you, Joker! So, where do we start? Let's head to the safe room we found last time. It's in the first floor of the West Building. It's pretty close to our usual entrance. It should be a pretty decent starting point. Safe room? It'll make sense when you see it. Well, let's head out. Let's do it. <laughs> 